Welcome to the Getting Started and Overview Tutorial for PavementLCA.com. PavementLCA.com is the web version of the Athena Institute's Windows Desktop Pavement LCA application. At the time of this recording, May 2016, the web version has just been released with most of the same functionality as the desktop version. However, some features are still in development. The biggest difference is that the web tool only applies to Canadian locations, data, and sample projects. This tutorial will cover creating the user account and a quick overview of the aims of the tool. The tool is designed to work in Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. However, due to the quirks between the three, things sometimes behave differently in different browsers and they may not have yet caught all the bugs that may be present due to your browser choice. We've chosen Chrome for these tutorials. So to get started, go to the new page in, the, in your browser, type in pavementlca.com. That will bring you to a login page and we're assuming the new users. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and create, click create an account. You need to give an email address. And a password. Enter your first name. And you have the choice here to be added to the Athena Institute mailing list. Yes or no, I'm going to keep that on, clicked on, and you have to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. If you want to read those policies, um, click on those links there, and you, click, you have to agree to that. And I'm going to say register, and then I have to put in the last name. That, register, and our account has been created, and we've been logged in. So this is what shows up first, um, we call it the dashboard. If you had any uh, existing projects, they'd be listed here. And there's a section down at the bottom here to report any bugs. We have different uh, menus over here on the left. Um, the projects menu, new project, my projects, and sample projects, and we'll get into that. You can further tutorials under reports, project reports, and comparison reports. We have libraries, we have an equipment library. Let's click on there and you'll see a bunch of different equipment in there, pieces in there, fuel consumption rates, the product is empty at the moment, but this is where you define your user custom user products. And a roadway assembly, which is still under development, but it will come eventually. Under the support section, we have the knowledge section. This is where the videos will be posted um, here. There's a button here at the top right too for free tutorials and that's I'll bring you to the same place. An issues page and again like the dashboard page this is where you can add a bug issue or enhancement request and the contact page. So I'm just going to give a very quick overview of the, of the, um, uh, the goal of the tool. I've gone here to sample projects. These are available to everybody. And I'm just going to load two quickly um, into my projects folder so I can uh, manipulate them. So I'm just going to pick the first one here. We've got this Ontario Road, HMA Road. You click the copy button over here. I copy that, and it'll show up in my projects. And I'm going to go down here and get the equivalent road in Portland Concrete. Uh, Portland cement concrete. I click the copy button there, and I'm going to go back, go to my projects in here, and you'll see those two projects have been loaded. Copies of those two projects have been loaded. And I'm just doing this to show you an example of what we're, what the tool is trying to do. I'm going to click the edit button over here, and this will show us what this project is made of. Um, we've got a project name, lifespan, and a, a location information here, project description, have previously defined the roadway or roadways, and again, I'm going to open 
click the edit button to open that, and you'll see here we've defined the lane length, lane length, the number of lanes, the number of lists, granular layers, uh, pavement types, uh, left and right shoulder elements is a pretty simple rule. We've got a schematic of those pieces of the road down here, those sections, and then down here we define each of those sections with a width and a thickness and a material type from our database. So we, that's creating a roadway. We add a rehabilitation schedule, and these are individual um, activities that are added up here with the button. And just to show you a quick one, uh, the first one here, I'm going to click on the edit button. And it's a partial depth reclamation of 2% of this road, which includes asphalt paving and asphalt removal. And we can close that. So we've got a preset uh, uh, rehab schedule. Uh, we're going to get all of into this in the two in videos uh, how to do that. Um, and then the third section is the pavement vehicle interaction, which we haven't defined for this. Uh, project, but we'll get into this in a, in a further video as well. So, um, I click, if I've made any changes, I click update roadway, get the roadway results, and my roadway is assigned. Now, if you're familiar with the desktop tool, um, we have a very similar type of reports, and I'm going to click over here on the reports menu, go to project reports, and you'll see here. Um, I can ask for a submit a bill of uh, materials request, submit a report request, which is the summary measure of the estimate value, or we can submit the all reports request. And you'll see up here I can do it for either of those two projects that are um, in my, my projects folder. So I'm just going to submit all reports request for one, and then the tab opens up. We'll wait a few seconds. Well, it generates the report. And you'll see here is generated a bill of materials. These are all the materials, their quantities and masses. The summary measures. These are the tracing measures that the tool reports on, divided by life cycle stages and so forth. Um, we've got the manufacturing phase, construction phase, the maintenance and rehab phase body totals, which is a total of the three previous phases. We've got uh, operating energy use phase, and we've got the PVI pavement vehicle interaction results over here too. Uh, we also have the absolute value reports, very similar to the desktop uh, version, and it's the energy consumption table, which is the measures of energy by energy type. We have the air emissions, land emissions, water emissions, and resource use. Now, that's all well and good. The numbers are there, you can see on screen, but you're probably going to want to use them a little bit. So we have an export to Excel button up here. Click on that. Here, it has also opened up the project in Excel. And I'll just show it on my screen here. You can't see all of it, but there it is. The bill of materials. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Got a bill of materials, the summary measure table, and the other tables as well. And it's from Excel, and I expect that you can uh, use that to present results in either Word document or make graphs or whatever you want. The other thing we might want to do is, uh, that's why I've reloaded two files here, is to make a comparison between the two. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to submit a uh, uh, request. And you'll see here it's produced. Here's the one project versus the other project. Here are the two results uh, of the uh, for global warming, acidification, etc., divided by the life cycle stages. And then if we scroll down on the page, we've got those same life cycle stages. Presented in a graph. And I'll just quickly show you the dashboard. You'll see my two projects that were there before are now there, and uh, they'll be there when I open the tool next time.
that wraps up our introduction. Please watch the soon videos that will delve into 